Granted, the HTC U11 sports the latest processing power compared to the LG G6, which sports relatively older hardware, yet is considered a 2017 flagship. So how much of a difference did LG miss out on? Let's find out. We're gonna boot up both of these devices where the U11 is marginally faster than the LG G6. For ease of use, we're gonna use a mirror to test the fingerprint scanner where this time the U11 is much faster than the LG G6. Now let's check that the phones are running their latest respective software, which they are, and clear any notifications and apps in memory. Heading to the stopwatch and starting it at the exact same time, as expected, the U11 is quickly off the blocks, whizzing past the camera, calculator, and the Google Play Store application while the G6 hits its first bump loading up the camera. Both phones are loading up Chrome at one stage but the U11 is the first one to load up GNTech's mobile website. It goes ahead two applications and moves to the social media row while the G6 is working on the YouTube application. Because both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, internet speed shouldn't affect results which means the difference in processor is quite a bit. The trend continues for the rest of the first round, so we're gonna skip forward a bit until the U11 finishes the first round of the test. At 1 minute and 41 seconds, the U11 moves to the memory management round, while the G6 is still only loading up Temple Run 2. In spite of the round completion, something to note here is that the U11 is struggling to keep applications in memory with only 4GB of RAM. Maybe the 6GB variant would perform better here. Once again, let's skip forward a bit to where things start to get interesting. In spite of reloading Temple Run 2 and Asphalt 8, the HTC U11 overlaps the LG G6 to finish the second round of the test in exactly 3 minutes. On the other hand, the G6 finishes only its first round in 3 minutes and 8 seconds. There's not much of a competition left here, so let's skip forward to where the G6 finishes the second round of the test. Again, something to note is that the RAM management on 4GB on the LG G6 is also quite a hit or a miss, where the phone had to reload quite a few apps during the second process. And and finally, at 4 minutes and 54 seconds, the LG G6 completes the second round of the test, making the winner the HTC U11. The newer chipset definitely shows its worth on the smartphone, but I think both phones require a bit of work in terms of RAM management if manufacturers are gonna stick to 4GB for the unforeseeable future. Let me know what you guys think about the results in the comments down below, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.